Previously on Power Slap Road to the Title, middleweight Brandon the Butcher Bordeaux punched his ticket to the second round of the competition by surviving an impressive three round epic battle against Eddie Brahimer. Winner, unanimous decision. Red. Let's go, baby. Let's go. In the second super heavyweight matchup of the competition, Hayden Southall and Micah Sayuli. No, that wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Did not impress. After exchanging blows for three rounds, the judges called the match a draw. The spout is ruled a majority draw. Putting the future of both fighters in jeopardy. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now, get ready for another international showdown as Estonian prospect Merlis Musikas. Johnny, it's gonna be a short night for you, man. Let's go, baby! And Montana's own Johnny B. Good Anderson face off. I'm dangerous for anybody I fight because I'm not afraid. With a spot in round two on the line. You guys know how The Rock pees? He Dwayne's is Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best one you got? I got a whole bunch. I'm taking this home with me. <laughs> I got a whole bunch. I got a whole bunch. Click with Johnny. Johnny talks a lot, but I like him, man. He's, he's pretty cool. That's my dog. You guys heard about the baby. I told him about the baby with no eyelids, right? Oh my God, the baby with no eyelids. Yeah, they figured a way to take the foreskin off his penis to replace his eyelids. Jesus swear fucking God, Christ. Swear to God, swear to God, surgery and everything worked out, but at the end of it, he was a little cockeyed. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Johnny Anderson. I'm from Hardin, Montana, and I, I do love it. I love the fish in there. I, I enjoy taking my kids out to smell fresh air and enjoy having freedom that other people just don't enjoy or indulge in like I do. Hey, everybody. Had to head up to the store, say hi, kids. Hi. Hi. Busy day. That's Bea, Gideon, and Negan. I have three kids. They're just amazing. They're a big part of my life, for sure. I don't think I'd be here without them, for sure. I'll be dead honest. I like to spend a lot of time with my kids. Spend a lot of time at the park, spend a lot of time fishing, camping. Fall time, we're playing with gel blasters and preparing them for gun safety and whatnot. So I'm a handyman at Jackson Ball Trains. After I drop the kids off at school, I continue my way to work. I work for my dad. He is retiring here shortly, so it'd be nice for him to be able to see me here. Show my kids that you can do it from anywhere. It doesn't matter where you're at in this world. As long as you try, you're going to go somewhere. I figured I'd take you guys out to one of my good little thinking spots. It's nice out here, beautiful. That's where I go fly fishing all the time. Most of my hobbies nowadays, since I've had children, have revolved around them. Oh, I love you, my handsome man. I definitely have a soft side for my kids, for sure. I like to try to see that everybody has a little good in them, instead of trying to see everybody having a little bit of bad. My name is Meris Muzikus. I'm from Estonia, 22 years old. I live in a small village called Ovinica. It's like a great small community. Everybody knows each other. We are here in Ovinica, Estonia. This is the place I was born. I'm here with my brother and sister. I'm very close to my family. I think I'm like huge like family and friends guy. I work in armed forces, so it's usually long days. We don't have like many big sports stars fighting stars from Estonia, so I suppose love is becoming next big thing. I think, yeah, it's gonna be very big for me and Estonian people as well. Let's go, baby. Build different. I'm fighting John Anderson. He misses his keys, so 
I'm gonna make it easy for him. I'm gonna send him back home fast. Johnny, it's gonna be a short night for you, man. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! I fought my whole life since I was a kid, so he's still a kid. He's got a lot of fights still to learn. Let's go, one and done, bud, one and done. Let's get this one back. Let's go. Let's go. He was a beastie little dude. Sure, you're probably gonna give me a good show, but I'm dangerous for anybody I fight because I'm not afraid. On the toss, feet set, what hand and on what count? Right hand on three. Right on three. Blue is set. Right on three. One. Two. Uh -huh. Oh, hey. Fair blow. Little Tiny, I want you to send him to his grave, dude. I'm going to know. And you're going to get him, all right? Okay. That was a good slot. That was a good wind-up, good power. You just missed him a little bit, all right, bud? We're going to eat down, we're going to bite this shit down, and we're going to get it, all right? Let's go. All right. When you're all set here, get your feet set for us. Which hand, what count? Right two. Right on three? Yes. Right on three. Push through him. You're going to absorb that hit. This is your moment, bud. This is your moment. One, two. Easy. 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 Good one. Wait, that. It's easy. <laughs> Foul, clubbing. Foul, one point clubbing. Perfect. That's Foul, right. clubbing. Okay. All right, you're all set here. What hand and what count? Right hand on three. Right hand on three, or your feet set? Yes, they are. Right hand on Take three. Your time, John. Take right your hand time on three. A good slap. One. There we go. Two. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh. Easy peasy. Uh, foul, clubbing. Oh, that too. Now you're even. Foul, clubbing, one point. Foul, clubbing, one point. Just focus, take your time, bro. You can, you can end him, bro. You, you, got, no you got 90 seconds, too, to take if you need it. No, I'm good, man. You're good? OK. Recovered. And what count? No, right on, three. Right on three. Right on three. You're gonna eat it. Your feet. Just keep it clean. Right on three. Let's Focus. go, John. Show Focus. who you are, bud. One. Two. Oh, oh my God. God. Hit. God. Two. Three. <laughs> Take your time, bud. Four. Take your time. Five. Six. Turn around right, there, good. bud. Good. Off to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good here. Yeah. Good. All right. Recovered. You, you did good, bro. Hey. He ate that shit, though. He ate that, yeah. yeah. But you can get him probably on that next one if you really want to. You're delivering good slaps. You just need to find the spot, all right, bud? OK, bud. You got this? Well, Let's go. Leave yourself. You got 20 got seconds. He's all set. You good there? OK. Fighter set. What hand, what count? Right on three. Right on three. Right on three. One. Two. You set there. What hand, what count? Right on three. Right on three. You don't want to be this kid right now. Keep it Butter clean. set, right on clean. three. Good, John. You're going to eat this one. Right man. on three. Eat this one. Keep it clean, brother. One, two. Oh, good. Slap. Good, good, John. Slow, John. Three. Slow, slow. Four. Gather yourself. Five. Big breath. Big breath. Six. Get up. up. Get up. Seven. There we go. Yeah. Fight is good. Yeah, you have a try. What we you? Good recovery power. He's tough. 
winner by judge's decision, Marinus. Good job, brother. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job, man. Good job, man. It was a good one, man. Well, I gotta say, Johnny Anderson does have a chin. That guy ate some big slaps from Merlis. Somehow he got back to his feet, but the problem is his slaps don't have as much power behind him. So in the end, it made the judge's decision pretty easy. So Merlis gets the win and he'll be moving on to round two while Johnny is headed home. I'm good. They're gonna take you to medical now, okay? All right, okay. It is what it is, man. It was a fun game. I'm glad I went out there and tried. You gotta lose like a man to win like a champ. And if you can't lose like a man, you'll never win like a champ. Coming in John's fight, uh, he had a good opponent. He showed me that he has a lot of heart, a lot of grit. You know, maybe moving down a weight class would be the best for him moving forward. I was ready to knock him out in the first round, to be honest, but he ate my shots like a motherfucker, so it was an amazing fight. Next fight, I'm gonna get the first round KO. No questions. Next up, we have the last super heavyweight fight in round one, and these two are absolute beasts. You have 340 pound Evian Scott will be going against 416 pound Samoan Makini Manu. These are two competitors with incredible power, and I see both of these guys having a bright future in power slap. So, this should be an epic showdown. My house. Emmanuel no love Moody's. Never be knocked out. Oh, I'd love to knock out Chris. Put him to sleep. Oh! Chris and Manny absolutely hate each other. These two will face off in a badass championship fight. Welcome back to the fight capital of the world. Tonight we got a real. Oh, okay. That's called a love slap. Really? Yeah, would you like another? Hmm, yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. Oh, she almost bleeding. <laughs> oh, staring oh. oh. I think it's super exciting that Power Stop has a super heavyweight division. There's five other guys. Uh, I'm actually the shortest one, but the heaviest one. You know, I'm tipping the scales at 416. Having all these big boys around makes me feel kind of special because I'm like, oh man, I'm not the only big one out here. Already beating me once. I feel like I clicked with all the super heavyweights, which I think is funny, kind of ironic because we're the biggest dudes who look the toughest, but I feel like we're always the nicest guys. You gotta open that more. Oh, yeah, Determination, he's bro. Oh, is that tears coming out? No, it's tears coming out of his eyes. He's crying. Power Stop has given us that opportunity to show that that big boys can bang. Yo, I'm super excited. Good job, I think I got some tears coming down my face. Oh, My name is McKinney Manu. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Carson, California. It's an inner city town in LA. I am Samoan and Maori. My dad is Samoan and my mom is Samoan and Maori. Maori is a culture from New Zealand. I was fortunate enough to play football throughout my life. I started in high school to junior college and I went to Division I University. And then from there, you got to play arena football in the XFL, USFL. What grade are you? Sixth grade? Sixth grade. Sixth grade. We have one son, and he's 11 years old with Down syndrome. His name is Wino Hia. It wasn't expected for him to have Down syndrome, but when it did happen, it was easy to come up with the name Wino Hia, which means rare gift in Hawaiian. The challenges that came from it, it wasn't as hard as we thought. You know, they did say that the road was gonna be rough, the road was gonna be tough, but he actually is the happiest kid the most uplifting, energetic kid that you know. He loves everything I do. He's my number one sports fan. My son motivates me to want to do better for him, to let him know that whatever obstacles in the way, he can always overcome it. Um, let him know that any opportunity that you get, 
seize the moment and make the most out of it. We had a late tournament. Son sleeping in the back. Wife is sleeping in the front. One thing that we do, it's like stay hungry. Let it be satisfying. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm hungry. I'm super hungry. You know, I'm coming into this power slot and I'm ready to just do the best I can possibly do. When you're fighting not much taller, right? So 6'5", yeah. probably a little, little taller than me right here, yeah, right? So almost still like an over thing, right? So you can come over, right? Over. You just gotta find that accuracy pop. Perfect. Just weight transfer, right? So from here to here, right? Just weight transfer. Twisting them hips, weight transferring, adding in the slap, right? Coming into McKinney's fight, felt real confident. You know, I think he got one of the tougher matchups at super heavyweight. Uh, they got other guys, a great athlete. Um, but man, I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna look at McKinney and not be a little bit intimidated. Sorry, my bad. On one. What'd you say? What'd you say to my mom? Yeah. Oh, no, don't do that. Yeah, I know I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I picked Evian. You know, he's truly, he's a good big build. Played football and stuff like that. Oh, and he's really loose, you know, with his body. So I was excited to see what he had to offer. The speed kills, bro. A lot of these guys come with just heavy weight and try to come with power. But I'm going to try to bring athleticism, speed, and strength. If I can bring all three, I know I'm going to be dominant. Damn, yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, bro. My name is Evian Scott, 25 years old. Born and raised in Denver, Colorado. I played football semi-pro in Colorado. Played for a total of three different teams out there. Other than that, I work full-time as a armed security officer for a private security company. I have a son, he's four years old. I have a daughter, she just turned three. They're awesome. They already have unique character traits. They're so smart, so fun, and they put a smile on my face no matter what they do. I'm always here for my children and I make sure that I'm able to give them the world. Poverty has been a part of my life, my whole life. I couldn't let them live through what I lived through and I'm 100% in to making sure their life was different from mine. To the scale, Evian Scott. I think it's gonna be a hell of a battle, to be honest with you. I think it's gonna be a hell of a fight. I'm gonna have to go with my team. I'm gonna have to go with Evian. I think he will probably fight a little cleaner fight. Evian's got a hell of a chin on him, and I think he'll win by decision. 341. <laughs> to the scale, Martini Manu. <laughs> my prediction for super heavyweight, McKinney is gonna be Evian. His hands are so big, they're the size of mine and his fingers are three times the size of my fingers. And that boy is coming with some force. I'm not seeing anybody lasting through a slap from him. He's gonna knock him out. 416 and a half. <laughs> Even though these guys are both super heavyweights, McKinney is 75 pounds heavier than Evian, and Evian is five inches taller than McKinney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this weight class in particular is so unique. But when it comes to slap score, Evian has the edge with 981 versus McKinney's 782. So no matter which way it goes, this one should be fun. Emmanuel Nola Muniz. That 
never be knocked out. Oh, I'd love to knock out Chris. Put him to sleep. Chris and Manny absolutely hate each other. These two will face off in a badass championship fight. Welcome back to the fight capital of the world. Tonight we got a real. Oh, okay. That's called a love slot. Really? Yeah, would you like another? Hmm, yeah, I think I would. Get 10 stickers for only $1 and slap some love on your laptop, water bottle, or best friend. A lot of these guys see me and underestimate me. You know, I don't look 340 pounds, but this right here, is 110 pounds alone. My biggest why is definitely my wife and my son. We've been through a lot. I told my wife I tried not to. We gotta see that big hawker dance after, yeah, buddy. Yeah, you yeah. gotta, you gotta. Ah, I better see it. I'm not playing with you. <laughs> How's your energy right now? Oh, my energy is up, bro. It's up. Are you in your head at all? Nah, not at all. You got no concerns about taking a slap? No, no. I guess so. Yeah, you know. Yes, sir. Hey. I'm fighting for my kids. I'm fighting to give them a better life, give them opportunities that I didn't have. I just need you to know, Mackie, expect the unexpected. Drop it out, let's go, let's go. Go to the buckles off! One, two, There's a lot more to it than just winning. You know, it's a winning for them, winning for us. Never forgetting everything they sacrificed for me to be here. And I don't plan on letting them down. Gentlemen, center. Let's go. One and done, bud. One and done. Blue has won the toss. Blue will slap first. Hand and count. Right, please. Right on three. Right hand on three. <clears throat> right hand Focus, on three. Focus, before you got this. Eat this shit. Get comfortable. There we go. That's your measure. One. Two. Okay. Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Let's go! Ah! Foul stepping. Yeah, stepping. One point stepping. One point stepping. One point stepping. Hey, it was a good slap. Feet came up just a little bit. Comfortable, okay? You're gonna eat this shit. It's not a big deal. Which one I lift? Uh, your right foot. Right, it so came up to... before, okay? Slightly. You got this. You're gonna sit down on this one. A lot of this is when you got the first slap and it's your first time intimidation. Like he was intimidating, right? And then he doesn't knock him out. And now look at him. Look at his. Look, look at his eyes. Like he ain't fucking crazy confident now. He's fucking nervous, man. Okay. He is fucking and nervous. Now he has the intimidation factor. It's fucking fascinating. Right hand, three. Right hand on three. Right hand on three. Take your time. Deep breaths, bro. This is, you got this. You can end it right here if you wanted to. Yeah, stretch that. Measure. One. 
two. Now he got it back. One point clubbing red, one point clubbing red. One point clubbing. Light work, no reaction. Hey, okay, so this round, I need a little more energy out of you, okay? I want you to fucking tear his ass up. He hits you, tear his ass up. The same way he did to you, I need that this round, okay? Both on the strike and the defense, okay? When you're ready. Good? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hand to count, blue. Right, blue. Right hand on three, right hand on three. Measure. One. Two. Oh! Yep. Told you I ain't gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. Look at him talking smack over here. <clears throat> this is a good fucking fight. Red, hand to count. Right on three. Right on three. Measure. One. Two. One point red clubbing, one point red clubbing. All right, here we go, man. Fight's over. Disqualification, reds, DQ. The rules are the rules, so with two striking fouls, you get DQ'd. Winner by DQ due to two clubbing fouls is blue corner, Manu. Uh, real confident in Makini, and I like what I saw. His form was looking okay. Got up there, and he was landing real clean shots. And unfortunately, the other guy kind of fouled out. One point clubbing, red. One point clubbing, red. I mean, the power's there, obviously. We just need to get him to hone in a little and, you know, pull back on a slop a little because he's clubbing. You know what I mean? He's, I don't think he's keeping his eye on the target. Fight's over. Disqualification, Reds, DQ. So these two brought a lot of energy to this fight, and it was certainly entertaining to watch. But in the end, their lack of experience got the better of them. So McKinney moves on to the second round, but I'm actually thinking that Evian may be worth another look, too. The blue corner, Manu. I got my head up. Where I shot first a lot, my one shot first a lot just for me to be here, you know, and so to be able to get this win and to get that money, you know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for to make a better life for me and my family. I might know that the power of his hand is gonna get me far, the toughness of his chin is gonna get, get me pushing. It's all season, baby. All season. It's a new sport for me. I've never done power slap. I was learning the technique, and I felt like I had it down. When I got out there, I was thinking too much about how my technique should go. But I made sure I held my ground every time he hit me. I took all his slaps, showcased that I got a strong chin. Honestly, I'm disappointed, but at the same time, my dad told me not to make no excuses, so. There's only one fight left in round one. Team Thomas's Irish welterweight, Sean Kilmartin, faces off against Team Uniz's first pick, Chris Debo. We're gonna find out what these two are made of. Next in the scale, Sean Kilmartin.
166 and a half. Next to the scale, Christopher Debo. Be real still. There it is. 171. We're grabbing a, we're grabbing a PD and light over there in the cooler. So right after Chris Debo weighed in and we were setting up for the face-offs, Chris started to feel sick and ran to the locker room. It caught everybody off guard and, and obviously we were instantly concerned about his health and safety. We don't want to take any chances, so we're sending Chris to the hospital right now and we're going to get him the best care possible. Hopefully he's okay and he can still fight tomorrow, but if not, we're going to have to uh, find a replacement. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. On the next episode of Power Slap Road to the Title. Let's go, baby. Irishman Sean Kilmartin makes his first walk to the Power Slap stage. But with Chris Debo's health in question, who will be stepping in to face him? Then, it's time for the second round of the competition. Slappy Joe Landman rejoins the action to face his first test. I'm gonna come out with a win, no matter what. Against Brandon the Butcher Bordeaux. I'm here to take over, I'm here to take over this division. Which talented middleweight will survive and earn a coveted spot at Power Slap 6? Fight. 